welcome back to my channel for those of you that are new here i'm miss lola cakes everyone else welcome back thank you for coming back before we go any further if you are not subscribed to my channel make sure you subscribe below you hit the bell to turn on notification and you give this video a thumbs up all right so y'all oh my gosh i love fall and we're gonna be talking about fall fashion basically i am basically going to be teaching you guys how to create the ultimate capsule wardrobe yes i'm looking down because I got some stuff to talk to y'all about, all right? And I had to write it down so I don't miss any of my points. All right. So you need your essentials when creating your capsule wardrobe. Like you need your basic tees. And I always tell people quality, quality, quality. So make sure you guys are buying quality basics. That way you don't have to, you know, rebuy them in a sense when you tend to buy things that are not quality you have to tend to buy them multiple times but when you buy things that are quality you don't got that problem so the first thing on my list to talk to y'all about is penny loafers i know y'all like oh i used to wear those back in the 90s when i was younger i'm telling my age now yes i'm 31 and i always love me a nice loafer i love me a black loafer i love me a brown loafer i love me a cognac loafer loafers go with just about anything you can dress them with some sweatpants you can dress them with jeans you can do a skirt you can do a dress like you name it penny loafers are like a staple shoe to have in your shoe collection for this fall and of course i'm gonna share what a penny loafer is for those of y'all that might not know exactly what it is okay so the next item is kind of like hot on the market like what i mean it's hot you know it's like the clutch it's like your go-to clutch if you ever are on instagram and you follow like a lot of fashion pages and stuff like that you're gonna see people carrying like the bottega veneta clutches <sighs> y'all i need that zebra one in my life but i'm not about to drop that that bag <laughs> on that bag <laughs> if you get what i'm saying but basically having a staple clutch in your collection like you got to have your patterns they got to be you know bedazzled you know have a great color wave like the bright colors that are here that were here in spring that transitioned over to summer they're kind of here to stay in the fall so like if you know that green that bottega veneta has basically in their collection i feel like every bag comes in that green color that they have no matter what the style is that green is here to stay having colors like that pink the red the orange the metallics in your wardrobe you definitely have to have to have to have like the contemporary clutch you know those are basically going to be the known statement pieces to have in your collection that is going to basically pop your outfit like pop this pop okay you see how quick that was <laughs> that's how you want your outfit and your clutch to pop up out the people all right okay so you know don't be scared to do playful patterns you know um crazy colors like that's gonna be your staple that's what's gonna wrap your outfit all the way together so if you're out and you see a cute popping clutch it doesn't have to be the bottega veneta because not everybody has bottega money i don't have bottega money okay um i don't I don't. I don't get YouTube checks. I don't get influencer checks yet. I'm just doing this because I simply love to talk about fashion. But, you know, one day I'll get there. But right now, sis is on a budget. So if you see a clutch that is similar um, in style or, you know, it's a pop of clutch and it's a statement piece, pick it up because you're going to need it for this fall for your wardrobe. And if you don't, you're going to see a vision of an outfit come together and that bag is going to come to your mind and you're going to be like damn she told me to get it i did all right so the next thing that is on our list i feel like sweatpants have been here they're not going anywhere and they're here to stay you know you throw some heels on with them you throw some penny loafers on some combat boots you know you name it you can basically do sweats but again you want to have like a luxe sweats like a quality sweats pants um i know h&m has really good quality sweatpants love them they actually have really really good quality 
Um, I wouldn't necessarily recommend Zara. I had a pair that shrunk after I washed them and put them in the dryer. But H&M is a great place. But you know, your nudes, your tans, your grays, your black, basically your neutrals. Like, get them in all colors because you can do so much with them, okay? You're going to be putting those penny loafers, that bomb clutch, and them luxe sweatpants and that good quality. And you're going to be giving it to them and serving them and be like, oh, oh, oh. But yes, okay. I just, let me move on, okay. So, the fourth thing on my list is the blazer. Y'all, blazers, blazers are like, you can get them at the thrift store for like less than $10. I like vintage blazers, so I'm a vintage girl. Vintage blazers are always me, so I thrift my blazers. But normally, if I don't thrift them, I definitely do get them from Zara. Um, Zara always has the popping patterns, the popping colors and blazers are also a staple so based off of the four things i literally just gave you like penny loafers the clutch the sweatpants the blazer like all you need depending on if you did a cream sweat you did a cream t-shirt and you had let's say a red hot red blazer and you had that green color bottega kind of clutch um it's it's that I want to say it's that candy apple green, I would say, in a sense. That's a whole freaking outfit. Your outfit is going to be popping. Like, you see, I'm, I'm trying to paint the vision for y'all. All right. So next is going to be the chunky sandals. So I feel like the chunky dad sandals have been in. Like, you know, you have your chunky Chanel dad sandals and stuff like that. They're in in this in the fall. People are going to be pairing them with socks. So you might see them paired with some Gucci socks, some louis socks whoever got socks whatever popping socks it don't matter they don't have to be designer you know it's it's all to your liking and your budget so these tips and gems that i'm dropping today are basically you can do it high you can do it low you can do it low you can do it high it just depends on your budget and what fits for you all this stuff that i'm talking like for my people who are budget friendly h m zara um, I don't shop at Forever 21, so I'm not gonna say Forever 21 was she and they have stuff like this on their website And of course, I'm gonna hook it up and put it together for y'all so y'all can have links to stuff that I'm talking about So next is going to be number six on the list is easy wear jewelry So like this Oscar de la Rente L that I have on my neck is kind of easy to wear I can wear it with everything, you know, I can dress it up. I can dress it down um, I can do it with high pieces, low pieces. It doesn't matter. Like, it is a staple piece at all. Like, for example, like my jewelry here that I have on, like this is a Cartier inspired bracelet. And I, I have a brand partnership with um, MDT. And basically, this is basically perfect. So I'll also link their website and leave my code below you know i have my my pandora i wear pandora with everything okay i have not dibbled a lot into designer jewelry the most that i have done is necklaces um and rings so i have my david yearman ring here um and then i have my pandora ring over here and i also have a david yearman um just pl plain chain that i basically can wear it's silver and it's just simple you know, so simple jewelry like that um, is definitely a staple because pair that simple jewelry with what the outfit I just gave you before and ha, you got you a fit and you popping. All right. So the next one is going to be, oh, I can't wait to talk about this. I am a jean fanatic. So the new shape jeans. I am here to say that straight leg jeans are cut, gone. Okay. They are gone. So, straight leg jeans ain't in no more. I'm just going to say it, okay? Straight leg jeans, they not here. The jeans that are here are your high-rise jeans, your distressed jeans. Love a distressed jean. I would do a distressed jean with every look if I could. And the straight leg. So, you know, skinny leg, uh -huh, replaced with the straight leg. So, I also put over here, you know, a skinny. Then we're going to go to straight leg. Then we're gonna go to distress, but I know y'all know y'all jean types, but skinny legs, cuts, 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 chop. Okay, I just wanted to say that. 
even though I still have some skinny jeans in my collection, I prefer to wear my skinny jeans with my thigh-high boots that I wear um, and combat boots. So, yeah, they'll stay in my wardrobe. I'm not going to get rid of them. I don't have that many of them, but for the fall, they're gone. I'm sorry to break it to you. So, the next thing is going to be watches. So, I basically have my Apple Watch on now, but I also have a watch with the brand partnership that I've done, and it is a simple, you know, watch. But when I say watches, the square face watches are actually more in right now. I don't know why, but they are popping and they are hot. So if you see a nice square watch um, face, you know, and it's in your price range and it's the color scheme that you're going for. For me, I am a gold and silver girl, so I like to have a two-tone watch rather than a one-tone, but I do have me a rose gold, a gold, a silver, and then I have my two-tone. It just depends what I'm wearing, how I'm wearing it, and what looks right to me. And my eye is how I decide what watch I'm going to wear. So, the next one is going to be your cashmere knit. So cashmere knit is definitely in, you know, cashmere feels so good against the skin. Don't think that cashmere is expensive because it's not, sis. You can go to Nordstrom Rack and find you some cute little cashmere pieces on a budget. Um, but if you do buy cashmere, some people don't buy it because they think that it has to be dry cleaned only. No, if you put your cashmere in a pillowcase and you basically put it in the washing machine and you put it on cold, you are good to go. Um, so that is a tip on buying cashmere, keeping it cute and funky and not messing it up. Because I am a child that will mess up a good shirt or something in the washing machine. It's horrible. Um, I know. I know so you have your practical bags so for example the Balenciaga city bag that I bought that you guys saw in a previous video that I still haven't worn but I will wear her soon um, this is like a practical bag so like your tote bags and just like your crossbody bags anything that's practical those are totally in you know we have to have two types of bags like we're women we got to have options and we need the clutches we need the practical bags we need all the bags in the world i know i do <laughs> so next on my list is going to be um a knit dress so your knit dresses in you know you can wear them with your penny loafers you can wear them with a fashion type sneaker um, you can wear them with combat boots. You can wear them basically with anything. Um, and a knit dress, throw it on. You can do leather jacket, jean jacket, you know, or a staple piece coat that you have in your wardrobe. Boom, you know, tight. Or you can do some chunky, funky socks. It just depends. You have so many options. Like, it's crazy how I just sit here and just give y'all outfits. But these are like the fall essentials that you need to have a capsule wardrobe this fall okay so almost there almost there i have a few more points to make um chunky boots oh my gosh they are so in so if y'all seen the bottega the high heel boot with the sponge that it has like a nice little chunk at the bottom super cute then you have your bottega like the chelsea boots and they have like the highlighted bottom they come in like the ice the blue the green Ooh, to die for i will spend thirteen hundred dollar on a shoe um also another all-time classic for like a chunky boot i don't know if you would really consider it chunky but it's the louis vuitton combat boots that come in like the monogram color love those definitely on my list to get um but definitely check like h&m they have you know dupes of this Bottega bag Chelsea boots the Chelsea boots are coming back chunky like grungy chunky boot look like the Prada shoes that we've seen they're like a combat boot and they have like the um the little compartments on them and they come to like about the knee or mid calf those are oh my gosh they came out a while ago but they are still in like the combat chunky boots they are here to stay minimal sneakers is basically when I'm said earlier fashion sneakers is minimal sneakers so like i'll put a picture here some like your golden gooses 
um, you know, you have your, your St. Laurent, um, Converse I even have some. I've seen some today in Nordstrom Rack that were really cute. Gold, black, and white, like simple white or tan or cream or black sneakers. Um, Old Navy always has them for the low. I love Old Navy. Um, I want to say Banana Republic and Gap also does too. I mean, they're all one brand, but they have similar things and they're super cute. So, of course, I'll put a minimal sneaker right here for y'all. Um, the classic coat. The classic coat can be a popping color, a pattern. It could be anything that you want. Like, it's classic. But the classic to me is, like, you have your short jackets, you have your long jackets. I love me a long jacket. And I love me a fur. To me, a fur is a classic coat, okay? I, I don't need another one. But I might need to find one again for this fall but classic coats coats are so big and they can also like set your outfit off those are also staple pieces to actually have in your wardrobe especially in the fall having multiple is fine because i have a coat closet in my house which is probably a problem but <sighs> classic coats classic coats and also y'all y'all can thrift these classic coats these knit dresses you know these square watches vintage square watches they are popping in the thrift store right now um blazers like i said earlier vintage penny loafers you might be able to find them now i don't know if you can because i'm about to put y'all on game um stylish sunglasses now sunglasses to me are all year round so keep your collection you know unless you know they don't fit with your style or your look is going towards but keep them because you're gonna need them in the fall so yes keep them but overall y'all to create your capsule wardrobe you really don't need much i basically gave you guys 15 items to create your capsule wardrobe and I'll also put the 15 items below and I'll um, I'll link things under that you guys can shop to kind of get an idea of what I'm talking about and you have the photos that I posted here but building your capsule wardrobe for the fall is not hard um, H&M actually has a lot of staple pieces like if you're shopping online right now and you're trying to just focus on fall like I know pretty little things and H&M is certain certain uh stores out there right now they have a section that you know is for fall and you can shop for fall so i've been shopping i shop the h&m fall section um i'm trying to get out of fast fashion but i've seen some items on pretty little things that i saved that i'm gonna go back and get um but also remember staple pieces you know if you're just trying to build your wardrobe get high quality basics that you're gonna pay a little bit more for them but on the flip side, you're not going to have to keep switching them in and out because, you know, the quality on them are horrible. So definitely buy quality, definitely buy staple um, and whatever fits for you. Like, you know what you like, you know what you like to wear. You necessarily don't need to have all 15 things. It's up to you. But I just had to bring it to you because I like to talk about fall fashion because I love fall and I love layering stuff. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you guys subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up. Comment if you have any questions. Also check out the links below and I will see you guys next time. Ciao.